This is your News Now Sports. Well, I'm a senior's postseason trek continues today in Toledo as the Spartans play Perrysburg with a district title on the line. This is the 10th meeting between these two teams, the previous nine all coming in the sectional tournament. But here's the kicker. Lima Senior won the first six matchups, while Perrysburg has claimed victory in the past three. To Savage Arena we go. The Spartans coming off of a nine-point semifinal victory over Springfield. First quarter, Josiah Fulcher attacks the rack. We're tied early on. Then Jermaine Daniel fires from way behind the arc. His three ball pushes senior high in front by three. Now they're running. Cameron Miles ahead to Khalil Luster for the layup. The freshman gives Lima an 11-6 advantage. Then Luster distributes to Daniel from deep again. He's strumming the strings in the opening frame. Spartans up 14-8. And now Amir Curtis gives to Desan Claire for another trifecta. Lima Sr. builds a 7-point advantage. However, they trail in the second quarter, so they ratchet up the D. Fulcher with the steal and Luster with the finish. Spartans back in front by one. Now Luster hits Curtis up and under for the lay-in. It's a three-point Spartans lead, and they keep adding to it. Daniel still feeling it, bearing another three ball. It's 24-18, and late in the half, Fulcher closes strong. First, he floats this one up for a seven-point advantage, and then the junior tacks on a triple try. Lima Sr. wins 58-44. They advance to the regional semis Wednesday at 7 back at UT. They'll play Toledo Start, who upset a top-seeded Whitmer today. More district final action down at Division Three. Ottawa Glandorf looking for a second straight district title as they tip off with Coldwater. Second quarter. Noah Miller feeds Cole Frilling. He drills it from downtown. We are level at 24. OG is an answer as Owen Hegel sizes up his defender before sinking the mid-range J. 32-31 OG at the half. Third quarter, Marcus Bruns all the way to cut for the bucket and the foul. Then Ben Wenning goes cross court to Bruns who cans it from the corner. 18 for the senior. Coldwater up one after three. In the fourth, Carter Herringhouse nails a trifecta of his own. That pulls the Titans within three. The gap is six here and it's Herringhouse with three points the old-fashioned way. Twelve for the senior tonight. Back and forth we go. Bruns to Miller in the corner. Bang as the Cavaliers were on fire from deep today. But at the other end it's Owen Hegel taking the rock to the rack. Another and one for the Titans. OG within three. But it's Bruns dropping it off to Frilling. He muscles it up and in plus the foul. The senior leads Coldwater with 23. The Cavs win 70 to 67 and head to the regional finals to face the winner of the Norwalk District next to Wednesday at 8 at BGSU. From the hardwood to the mats, the final day of the state wrestling championships from the Schottenstein Center in Columbus today. Three local wrestlers have a shot at the state title. But we will begin in the consolation bracket with many local wrestlers looking to place today. We start at Division 3 at 145. LCC's Joey Caprella with the two-point takedown. He'd go on to win 4-2 to two to take third place. The senior caps off his career with 159 wins, tying the LCC school record. Down to 132, OG's Isaac Hernandez with the escape to score one here. He'd go on to lose, however, by a 5-1 to one margin and finish in eighth place. All the way up to 182, OG's Danny Rosales gets an escape of his own, but he loses by pinfall fall. The senior takes sixth place. Moving on to 160, Patrick Henry's TJ Ramey tallies a point via escape. He'd fall by a 3-2 decision, finishing fourth. In Division 2, Wapox Trevor Plower sticks his man in 4 minutes, 31 seconds. Plower tallies a seventh place finish with the win. And finally, in the 220 pound weight class, Patrick Henry's Will Morrow holds off his man in the final seconds. He wins by a 7-2 decision and caps off a third place finish. Other notable results from the consolation bracket today. In Division 2, in the 285 pound weight class. Wapox Brennan Kenevy wins via pinfall to finish in fifth. While down at 220, Bell Fountain's Bruno Pattison beats Defiance's at Alberto Vega by a 5 3 decision to finish seventh. Up at one, up at Division 1, 138 pounders, Finley's Jonas Smith victorious via pinfall in a minute 37 seconds. The Trojan tallies a seventh place finish. Division 3 now 113, Coldwater's Brian Chabaluski defeated by a 7 3 margin. He finishes in eighth. At 120, Alan East straight Carmine. Finishes in sixth, and at the heavyweights at 285, Columbus Grove's Jeff Meyer also a sixth place finish. More state action, but we move from the mats to the lanes as Wapak Sam Wagner competes in the Division I Boys Individual State Tournament today. Here it's Wagner picking up the spare, and then you will see him knock down the strike. The Redskins shoots a three game series score of 639, finishing in 14th place. A great overall experience for the Wapak sophomore. We finish on the college court as Finley plays for a GMAC title at Croy. 
Detroit today hosting Walsh. First half, Anthony Master Lasco to the rack. It's 10-9 Oilers. And then Master Lasco would spin into the lane and scoop it up and in. Unfortunately, Katie, for Finley, they lose in overtime to Walsh. All right, thanks so much, Matt. We'll wrap things up after the break.